and welcome to the latest edition of The Exchange. I'm Douglas Jonas, your host, and I'm joined today by Scott Weber. He is Senior Portfolio Manager for Vaughn Nelson. Now, as a reminder, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE does not recommend investments or investment strategies. Scott, I want to get right into it. Could you tell us a little bit more about Vaughn Nelson and what it is you bring to investors? Sure, and thanks for having us, Douglas. I'd say the first thing that is unique about Vaughn Nelson is, uh, is that we are laser focused on our clients financial well being first and by that I mean we really seek to 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 compound capital at an attractive rate, as opposed to simply beating an index. Um, you know our, our clients are trusting us to help them defease a liability, not just to play a game and in order to do so we need to compound an attractive uh, uh, absolute return and so that's our first goal. Um, the next thing that I think is different about Von Nelson is we will integrate a fundamental and factor analysis in, in the portfolio at a security level, not just the portfolio level or above. And so in that way, this concentrated high active share portfolio is, is really cognizant of the risks inherent uh, in investing. I mean, I'm sure that we, we, we start with a, a credit mindset in terms of underwriting a position move upwards from there for the upside towards the equity view. And by having a, a clear and objective view of the macro and fundamental factors with, the, with respect to business drivers at the security level, uh, we end up with a high active share portfolio that frankly favors large cap, high return businesses. Um, and, and the portfolio in aggregate is a, uh, is a similar level of risk to the comparable index by measure of beta being similar, yet with lower earnings variability and better returns over time. So let's stay on the ETF for a bit. So, so you're managing the ETF, it's ticker symbol VNSE. For investors that are listening in, for advisors, what should they know about the strategy that you're running as well as the investments you're targeting within the ETF? I, I think you're right. And, and I would point out, we're, we're excited to celebrate the, the one-year anniversary of this ETF. And at the same time, would point out that the ETF is managed in the exact same way that we've managed institutional funds in this strategy for more than 12 years. And this, in, in, that is with a high active share concentrated expression, bottoms up fundamental analysis, um, where we're seeking businesses that, uh, again, predominantly large cap companies that compound at attractive rates and have incentive structures that align management with the shareholders. Now, of course, VNSE listed with the New York Stock Exchange uh, Scott, the markets have been anything uh, but steady, right? We've seen volatility. We've seen lots of, of conversations in the news uh, hitting us from all angles. When you're managing VNSE in today's environment, how, how is it going? You know, how are things how are things performing? Things have been great for the funds, no doubt about that. Um, I would I would highlight that even though we've had a, a great performance here this year, the the star of this process is not any single position or any single team member. Um, we've had a great year this year because we've adhered to the discipline that's gotten us to this point over the last uh, decades, and, and that is the rigor and discipline of our process. And so, you know, whereas, you know, when we were in school, we didn't have any chapters in the econ textbook about investing in uh, negative real rate environments or SPACs or cryptos, it's, it's the same discipline day in and day out that's gotten us to this point that'll keep us going and, and we'll continue to try and involve and improve upon that process. But process is paramount. Process is paramount. I love it. Uh, as a reminder, if you're tuning in, you can find this episode as well as many other educational episodes on our website, homeofetfs.com. That's homeofetfs.com. Scott, thank you very much for being here. That's a wrap on today's edition of The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs. Thanks again, Douglas.